Now, continuing with our rolling coverage of the coronavirus, last night the second death in South Africa was confirmed. It's not good news at all. This is due to the COVID-19, and South Africa's number of infections is still on the rise, this despite the country being on lockdown. Now, of course, there are ways in which we can all contain this. Staying indoors, staying in your house, for example, and only leaving when you absolutely need to is one attempt to flatten the curve of this pandemic. Now, we all have questions. There are lots of them on this disease, and here to give us an update on the coronavirus, please Welcome via Skype onto your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Infections, or rather infectious diseases specialist, Dr. Emil Reed. Dr. Reed, good morning. Uh, I'll start with the first question. How many people, Dr. Reed, are currently infected with the coronavirus in our country versus the number of people in the world? Um, is it normal that the numbers continue to rise while we're in isolation, as we've been hearing in reports? Well, Tabisha, good morning, and good morning to all the listeners. Um, currently, we, we're sitting with uh, 1,280 cases in South Africa. And um, if one look at the, the worldwide infections, we are sitting at more than 700,000 cases um, with more than 20,000 deaths. I mean, this is horrible. And in South Africa, we've been on lockdown now for the last three to four days. And uh, it is expected that these cases should be rising in the next few days as we sort of uh, go up and reach our peak. And the reason for that is the social distancing measures and also lockdown measures that we've put in place will probably come into play only after around about two to three weeks. So what we're doing now pertaining to social distancing, distancing staying away from from one another and being on lockdown, the results hopefully will only be visible in the next two to three weeks. And this means we mustn't stop. We must continue with the social distancing. Now, Dr. Reed, something to be positive about during this time is that the number of people uh, who have recovered from the coronavirus in South Africa, that's a good positive sign that we are doing something right. How many people have recovered uh, from the coronavirus as it stands right now in South Africa? And what kind of treatment did they, did they have to go through? Okay, currently we, we find that people with mild symptoms are still relatively uh, uh, ill um, and are at home. There's been hospital admissions, of which around about four is admitted to ICUs in and around the Western Cape. And um, those that have recovered is around about in the order of 30 to 50 uh, patients. Um, with the majority of them that are still ill having very, very mild symptoms. The way they are treated currently is absolutely just supportive because, as you know, there are no current treatment available for uh, coronavirus infections, although the WHO at this point is doing a, a trial with various forms of medications and treatment modalities called the Solidarity Study, um, where they actually make use of drugs like chloroquine, um, remdesivir, Kevzera, Zithromax, etc., in order to see whether one of them might uh, give us uh, the possibility of a treatment option. In the meantime, they are also looking at developing a vaccine, which will take around about a year to a year and a half in order to become um, fully functional. Mm. I think during this time, it's very important to take our hats off to all the medical professionals around the globe who are working hard to try and contain this. And the fact that we're seeing these recoveries in South Africa speaks to the fact that our very own medical professionals are working around the clock to try and help in this time. Now, on Friday, it was reported that two people had died from the coronavirus. Later, we then heard that only one person had died, a 48-year-old female from the Western Cape. Uh, can you tell us more about this? Well, um, on, on Friday, it was reported that two people died, yes. And I think it was slightly uh, a premature, um, purely because um, the, the, the younger of the two ladies, the 28-year-old lady, was admitted to a hospital on Friday morning in respiratory distress with the clinical picture that looked um, as if uh, she might be COVID positive. She was also a nurse uh, in, in the Western Cape, um, but was there no history that she was in contact with, with anybody uh, else? 
um, who was COVID positive. So um, later on, it was discovered that that uh, uh, test was actually negative. And um, the lady, uh, indeed, who was found to be COVID positive, passed on in a private hospital um, of an associated lung condition. Mm. So I think the important thing is to say that, yes, she passed away with uh, COVID disease and she was positive. Whether she passed on due to COVID disease is another um, issue. Mm, there are certainly a lot of factors, but of course, we do appreciate all of the work that you are doing in this space during this time, Dr. Reed, uh, to you and of course, all of the many other medical professionals across the country, and indeed across the world as well. And the message is loud and clear. It's very simple to everybody else at home right now is for all of us to be responsible and hashtag stay home, South Africa.